Hi, in this lesson we're going to take a look at the uh, great Willie Nelson tune Nightlife and learn how to play the chord progressions. So it starts off like this. Um, a lot of jazz influence in this tune, that chord progression that starts off the tune and is used throughout. Um, influenced by Tad Dameron style chord progression. But what we're doing, we're in the key of C, C major 7, this shape, up to an E flat major 7, we just move that shape up, A flat major 7, and then that's a G7 chord. Now these voicings are might be considered jazz chord voicings, the major 7 dominant 7s, um, lots of resources on YouTube and on the web on how to get these chords down, but these shapes are really useful for this tune. I've got a YouTube lesson that shows how to play the six basic jazz chords using fifth and sixth string roots. But anyway, that's that, that first little part. And you could strum that as well. But like I said, the chord progression is C major 7, E flat major 7, and we go to an A flat major 7, and we end up on uh, G7, which takes us to the beginning of the, the main progression. It's a C major 7 again, to a C7, dominant 7, then we go to an F chord. F major 7, then a diminished chord, then we do like a turnaround, C major 7, A7, seven, D minor 7, G7, seven. then we do our little, that beginning chord progression again. So a lot of typical jazz kind of progressions and chords are used here. A, a, a 2 5 one is right there, going from that D minor 7. So let me play through that again. I'll play through that whole kind of section. That's the intro part. And then here we go. C major 7, C dominant 7, Pretty standard shape. F major 7 to a F sharp diminished C A7 D minor 7 G7 then we go to that bit again it kind of connects the, those parts. So that's the main chord progression that's kind of the main thing. Um, when we go from that C major 7 to A7 to the D minor 7 to G7, um, that could be like a 1, 6, 2, 5 progression, if you're familiar with that, uh, that way of uh, explaining chord progressions. Now a couple of little things, when we start off with that intro bit again. We go to that C major 7. We can use little bass lines to get us around. And when we get to the diminished chord, we can take that diminished chord and move it up in increments of three frets. You can do that with diminished chords. You can go three frets either way and it's going to be the same chord. That takes us back to our C major 7, A7, D minor 7, G7. And we start all over again. C7. The diminished 
chord we're going to move up. Then, he just plays kind of a straightforward blues thing here. It's a C7 chord. Goes to the 4, which is F7. Back to the C7. To the G7, which takes us back. main chord progression, the C major 7, the C7, F diminished chord. That blues thing, there's a lot of versions of this song. Um, it's, you know, it plays, you know, basically a 1-4-5 up here, and the, the lead guitar part is like... Something like that. You can do that blues thing and kind of change it around. You can play a more of a regular bluesy thing. And you can use the two chord. Which I notice he does in some live versions of this song. So you go from the C7 to a D7 to the G7. And once again, this is a C7 here. You could you could use this shape. You know, you could use a regular C7 to your S7, and then your five would be this G, G7 right here. But that's basically the whole tune. You know, it goes from that that. progression C major 7 C dominant 7 down to the F 4 chord F sharp diminished and then we up in 3 fret increments or you could just stay there then we do like a turnaround a blues type turnaround A7 D minor 7, D5, 1 right there, and there's the 1. And there's the go into that again. So that's it. That's the whole tune. Those are the chord progressions. And um, I hope this was a helpful lesson. I hope you enjoyed playing Nightlight. Thanks.